Everybody has a different expectation of how much value you should get out of a credit card redemption. Your boy had two great redemptions recently. You won't believe the sweet upgrade that I got from the first one. Take this walk with me. What is up team? It's your boy Slayer from the Sledging Team, back with another video. And today, we gonna be talking about my very first pin fed credit card redemption. And you know over here at Sledging, we get straight to business, so let's get to it. First things first, this is part one of a two part video. The second part will be about my Navy Federal credit card redemption. But enough about that. This redemption is during a trip that I took my wife to Dallas, Texas to see the Lakers and Mavericks game because I wanted to catch LeBron a couple more times before he retires. Yeah. At the game, at the game, at the game. LeBron. This video will be a little bit about the trip that we took to Dallas, but the highlight of this video is going to be the room that we stayed in during the trip. This wasn't a planned trip, so we had to get the most reasonably priced flight in the shortest amount of time. So we ended up going with Spirit Airlines. I know, I know. A credit card content creator flying Spirit Airlines? Well, I don't have endless funds and my Delta points are low. So I had to get there how I got there. I booked my flight using my Charles Schwab American Express Platinum card because that card gives me five points per dollar on all flights booked directly with the airline. I upgraded to priority boarding and got Spirit's big front seats. That gives you six extra inches of leg room and there's only two seats in each row. Trader came out of the armrest was big enough to hold my 15.6 inch Galaxy Book Pro and my S23 Ultra. So I was able to work comfortably. And if you ever do fly Spirit, I recommend that you get the big front seat. The boarding process was actually pretty quick and the staff was pretty nice, but we all know that Spirit Airlines will nickel and dime you. Our one check bag was $60. And if that bag was over 40 pounds, you'll have to pay a surplus of up to $125. I purchased a cup of coffee on the flight and it came in the smallest Dixie cup available. And that coffee was $4.49. But you do get free refills. To pay for the upgrade, the check bag, and that $4.49 coffee, I use my PenFed Pathfinder card because you get four points per dollar on all travel purchases. When we touched down in Dallas, we jumped in an Uber and headed straight to the hotel. And since I have three American Express Platinum cards, and American Express give you $35 in Uber credit every December, I had $105 to work with in Uber credits during this trip. And that really came in handy. Now, don't forget that this is a two-part video. So the second hotel will be in the second part of the video because I don't want to make this video too long. Now, the first hotel was the Nilo Dallas Plano Hotel Tapestry Collection by Hilton. But that's way too much to say. So from now on in this video, I'll just refer to the hotel as the tapestry. Now, when I say the rooms in this hotel are nice, there is no exaggeration. I booked a one bedroom king glass loft that was usually $159 per night. So with tax, the total came to just over $340. I've heard a lot of YouTubers say that pen fed points are worth somewhere around 0.85 cents each. But I think that's when you buy gift cards or merchandise with the points. Well, your boy used 34,000 points for this redemption. So that's one cent per point. And as I said in the past, I don't have the patience to look for the best cent per point value. It's all about convenience and comfort for your boy. For those of you that have the time to get the best cent per point value, I salute you. But that's just not me. The incidental fee for this hotel was $20, which I put on my Hilton Aspire card. That fee was returned to me within 24 hours after we checked out. Parking at the hotel is $18.99 per night. I don't drive when I travel, so that charge didn't apply to me. Since I'm a Hilton Diamond member, I got a $15 per day credit for both me and my wife, which we used in the hotel store, and we also got free breakfast. Now, remember when I said I paid 34,000 points for two nights in the one king bed glass loft, which is a really nice room. But it wouldn't be your boy if I didn't request and receive an upgrade. Do your research on your boy getting a room upgrade 100% of the time in 2022 and 2023 at every single hotel brand that I've stayed in. Now, before this trip, my last upgrade after Crockford in Las Vegas would have been hard to beat. I mean, that 700 square foot king suite 
was very nice and probably my best room to date. Along with that 980 square foot room that I had at the Ritz Carlton in Orlando. But your boy got upgraded to the presidential suite. Now this room is 842 square feet and it has its own private balcony. The aesthetics of this room is modern and well, I'll let you see it for yourself. Tapestry, presidential suite, little TV right there, a little couch, chair over here, go over here, you can control the AC and the fan, come around the corner, got a little bench right here. This is the safe area and everything like that. Come around. This is the bedroom. Come inside the bathroom. Of course, a little toilet over there. Full size sink. When you come out, there's the bedroom area. Another control for the AC. Nice little, probably 65, 70 inch TV. Your boy a coffee drinker, so I gotta get to that. Nice little table. And then behind here, well I'm gonna take another little glimpse of the room before I go out and show you all the spectacular part as well. Come around, on a little private balcony where we can chill and hang out on top of Houston. Did I say Houston? I mean Dallas. That's how your boy do it. It's your boy Sledge. Salute. During the time we were there, that room was $395 plus tax per night. If I paid for that room, it would have been over $845 for the two days or 85,000 of my pen fare points. Remember, I only paid 34,000 points for the two nights. The breakfast area was more like a living area that had food in it and it was huge. The outside has an area to play chess and connect for. And then there's a pool that sits right in front of a fireplace. And it wouldn't be us if we didn't mess around out there. But it was a little chilly outside, so we didn't spend a lot of time out there. On day two, we headed to the Lakers game. But before that, we took a small tour of the city in downtown Dallas. I thought this eyeball was pretty interesting. We walked past Conrad Hilton's very first high-rise hotel that was built in 1925. Fun fact... In 1938, Hilton gave up control of the building and it became the White Plaza Hotel. But today, that same building is owned by IHG. The same IHG that owns the Kempton, Intercontinental, Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn Express, and more. But while we were out, our ultimate goal was to get to the Dallas Museum of Illusions before we went to the game. And this place did not disappoint. I used my Capital One Saver One card to get into the museum and on all the food that we ate while we were in Dallas because that car gets three points per dollar on entertainment and at restaurants. If you're ever in Dallas, I recommend that you go to the Museum of Illusions because it's worth it, but that's just my opinion. But remember, my opinion is more important than everyone else's. Do your research on my opinion being more important than yours. If you don't want to do the research, which a lot of y'all don't do, it's okay, I'm doing it for you. As for the Lakers tickets, I paid for them with my PayPal MasterCard because I got 3% cash back when I checked out with PayPal through Ticketmaster. And I copped a couple of Lakers hoodies to wear to the game and used my American Express Everyday Preferred because there was an American Express offer that gave me $15 off a purchase of $50 or more at the NBA store. When we got to the arena, I was able to get a few good picks, including this one of Dirk and Wincy outside of the arena. The game ended up being a really close game. But Luka and the Mavs got the W. LeBron and AD did their thing, though. We had a great time there, 
and I can't wait to catch another NBA game soon. Now, this is part one, and my Navy Federal Redemption will be coming up soon, so be on the lookout for that one. Well, if you like this content or was just entertained, hit that thumbs up, share this video, but most importantly, drop a salute emoji in the comment section. And remember, the separation is in the preparation. It's your boy Sledge. Salute.